Hello guys, it's Seventeen Crash here, and uh, we're gonna continue our. We're gonna start year two with our Chicago Blackhawks. Well, and I've already simulated up to the preseason, so we don't have to go through all that free agency. But we got every player we wanted, so it's good. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna check out the lines here for this year and see what we're gonna do. No, we're gonna go, we're gonna go to coaching options. And we're gonna go to the edit lines. Yeah. So I've already edit edit lines. I've uh, I've done the AHL as well. So yeah, not much to talk about there. I've already edit edited the lines. And uh, the thing is, I think we should, as you can see, Jonathan, uh, Jeremy Morin, got he jumped up to uh, 80 overall. So that's was unexpected, but it works out. It works for me. <laughs> I don't complain. And we got Danny Carcillo and Kruger and Hayes down there on the fourth line. We could easily like replace some of these guys, but I want like a little tougher center down there. And the I want a two-way forward on that fourth line. I don't want to have a playmaker or anything like that down on the fourth line. I want to keep. I want to have like now we have some depth scoring here with the third line as well. And we've got that fourth line, we can come in and like, yeah, just grind away. So, what I think we should do, I think we should get, try and get Dave Boland out of here. Because he didn't do it that good for us last year. As you can see here, he got like, oh, let's see here. He had like 36 points in the regular season. So that's not, that's not good enough for a second liner in my opinion at least. I mean Patrick Sharp, let's see here if how he did. He did he did alright. Yeah, he did good. He got fifty eight points on points on that second line, so it's good. And Louis Erickson. Oh, don't get got too far again. He got forty six, so it's alright, you know. And if you get a get better center in there we should probably get get a lot more out of the second line. Or not a lot or a lot. We should get more out of out of that second line. So I think we should try and get Dave Boland out of here. I think he only got like one year left anyways. So we should probably try and trade him. But at first, th at first we're going to go to the uh, contracts and see how it looks for next year. So there we, there we are. So Yone Odoya's contract expires. We're not going to give him a new one. Because he's way too old. He's dropped down to 79 overall. Danny Carcillo is not getting a new contract. Dave Boland, we're gonna try and trade that guy. We're gonna try and re-sign Yalmerson. And we're gonna have a little battle here between Morin and Frolic and see which one we're gonna keep around for next year. One of these guys probably have to have to go because I don't think we can afford both of them. Especially since Frolic probably wants around three to four mil next year. And the same goes for Morin. So we're gonna, gonna have to try and and see which one does does the best. And after that, we're gonna try and see if we can. We're, gonna, we're not gonna try and see. We're gonna trade one of them if if we don't have the cap to re reassign them. Uh, Brandon Sutter is gonna have to get a new contract. I'm gonna keep that guy around because he's a great PK. He's great for penalty kill. Uh, Jimmy Hayes is gonna have to stick around. We're, go we're gonna try. My thought here, I'm thinking about really to put Jimmy Hayes on that third line f instead of Frolic or Morin. One of these guys is pr probably is gonna have to go, but if we can keep him around, we're gonna have to keep. We're gonna have to try and keep like Hayes around as well. But yeah, that's the plan. Actually, we're gonna one of these guys is gonna be, or at least two of these guys are gonna, are gonna play in the third line next year. Morin, Hayes. Or frolic, so two of these guys are gonna stay. Brandon Sutter is gonna be on that third line as well with them. So, and Marcus Kruger is gonna have to get a new contract. So that's really uh, how it looks for next year. We're gonna check out the goalies as well if we got. Yeah, no goal is gonna have to get re-signed. Nope, not next year as well at least. So that's good for us. Well, so now we're gonna have to try and trade that fucker Boland 
let's go to trade negotiations we're gonna check this out here so what I'm thinking we wanna get like a second liner we don't wanna have it like a too young center because Nathan McKinnon is gonna come up in like two years I think we'll be ready in hopefully in one year but if we get him in two years I'm satisfied if he comes up in two years and do is re NHL ready if, if he's like 79 overall I, I, will, I will accept that you know he's green stars he will probably will get good but he's only 62 overall right now so he's not NHL ready yet and we want to keep it th we want to keep our team good we don't want to go into a rebuild phase just now the thing so we, what we want to do is we're going to try and trade Dave Boland for a uh, second liner a little older guy maybe who can come in and, and, uh, and like yeah a guy we can have until Nathan McKinnon is ready and he can perform for us so that's what we're gonna do Dave Boland is gonna go and we're gonna try and get Johnny Odoya as well out of the picture because as you can see, he's 3.3 mil with what one year left, and he's and he's 30, 31 years old. It's not that good. Ex oh, I had to cough a little bit. So, uh, yeah, Boland's gotta go, and Odoya's gotta go. So that's the first thing we're gonna do. That's I, th I think that's the only trades we're gonna do this year. I know Patrick Sharp is. Uh, He's 5.9 for four years, so we're gonna have to try and trade that guy probably next year or the year after that. So he's also gonna go soon. And the same goes for Duncan Keith. We're gonna keep around a little bit, a little bit longer till until his contract starts to expire. He still got four years left, so it's no problem right there. But yeah, let's try and get this Boland fucker out of here. And what I think we should do, I think we're gonna go to, if I remember correctly, uh, let's see here if it was here. Centers I check out, no. There's not, San, it's not San Jose, it's not Pittsburgh, is it Phoenix? Oh. Antoine Wormat is a second liner, let's see if that guy is any good right now. He's 83 overall. He's a two, no, not a two-way forward. Not a two-way forward. That's not what we want. Ottawa. Let's check out Ottawa. They got some decent players here. Oh, so Jason Spezza. We can we can't afford Jason Spezza. Kyle Torres. He's, he's 24, but he only, he's got 3.8 for four years. So he's, he would be a an easy player to move when the time comes for McKinnon to come up. And that would pr actually be pretty good. And we got Ribeiro as well. He's got four years left, but he's 33 years old. He's got, yeah. He's pretty good, actually. Ribeiro. We could probably try and keep Ribeiro. Should we get Ribeiro or should we get Calaturis? Hmm. <laughs> oh, Jared Cohen as well. We can probably try and trade Cohen for Udoya. So it, it would be pretty good to get like a center and uh, defenseman. Be easier to trade, I think. But let's see. Should we get Ribeiro got less trade value and he's got he's a little bit cheaper. He's a second liner. We can probably give him like he's he's gonna he's, he's gonna. Have He's gonna play on that second line, so he pr he got a lot of ice time. He got a bit power play. He is, uh, yeah. We should probably go for Ribeiro. It would be good. So let's. We've got Boland in there. They don't want Boland, but hopefully they want Odoya. They want Odoya, so that's good. That's good for us. They want Odoya. And Odoya, I don't want to give up Ribeiro or Cohen, of course, but I don't want they won't they don't want Dave Boland, but we can try and put some guys in here as well. Let's see, all skaters. Let's see if we can give anyone up. 
we can give Lalande can go, no problem at all. But then we gotta have to take a player from Ottawa. Hmm. They don't want to give anyone up here. That's sad. Is it only Alfredson? Yeah, it's only Alfie. Fuck. We don't want Alfie. We want a guy. We're just gonna try and get this. Yeah, Eckford guy can. Tyler Eckford can come up. Can come to us. It's all right. So. The trade won't. Now it won't go through the way it is, of course. But we're gonna have to try and get like a pick in there as well. If that seems I have a lot of players, so it's got a second rounder there, and uh, maybe like a second round there. Yeah, it might go through. I'm not. I'm not really sure. I don't think it will go through, but we're gonna try it and see here. And Sweden the value just a touch. All right, let's get that second line out of there and get uh, that third round pick. Maybe we can try and get that. Ah, it was uh, pretty much the same. Hmm. If we get Lalande out of here and we get try the same thing, but without Eckford, we can try that. Lalande. And we try the same the same thing here. <laughs> Quite far off. Okay, let's just get his. Let's just get him back in here. Lalande. Oh, not Kruger. Lalande. And this guy. I don't know what his name was. Eckford. That's right, Eckford. And get the another pick. I don't really want to give him like a second round pick. But I, I don't think we have anything else. Let's see. Murphy. Murphy, Murphy, Murphy. We should try and keep Murphy. We should try and keep Murphy. Uh, let's see here. We can probably try and give him... Do we have any of one of those? No. Nope. Not at all. Hmm. So we'll get we're giving up two players. We can't just land a. What should we do here? Can we give him like? Is that pick worth? No, it's not worth. Let's just give him a second round pick here as well. We can probably try it. If it doesn't work, let's just screw it. But I f I feel like it's a lot for. I feel like it's a lot for. Your Cohen and Ribeiro. Hmm. Should we do it? Should we do it? Hmm, 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 hmm. I'm not sure. We get we're earning some, we're earning some salary cap. But we're still. Hmm. It's hard. I would like to try and give him another prospect first, if we can do that. Let's see what we got here. Murphy, they want Murphy. We can try and throw in like a Teravainen or Nordstrom. Let's see Nordstrom. Or Levin. Lavin. Yeah, let's try put Lavin in there as well. And a second rounder. And let's just get another one of these guys with low trade value. Grant can come over here. Derek Grant. And let's just try and see if that will go through. You're a bit off in value. Oh, crap. So, they don't want that. What can we do now, then? Is that pick worth a little bit more? Or is it just the same? Let's try 2,000. No, it's worth a little bit less, I think. Hmm. So, they don't want... We're going to give them something they want here. Maybe they want this job key guy. We can probably... Oh, or... or Let's see here. Miller. I think we took him on for depth. Kevin Miller. Yeah, we put, took him uh, on for depth, but we could probably just try and 
trade him. We're gonna have to deal with that. Let's just try and do that. No. Why didn't he come up? Man, get Leo Levin out, out of there. Uh, let's just get one of these guys they actually want. This Miller guy. Let's try that. Let's just try that. Not interested in that proposal. No, 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 no. Okay, let's just put Brennan Piri in there. He's got a little higher trade value, so it might it might just go through because of that. <sighs> now we just pissed him off. That's not nice. That's not nice at all. So let's just get Piri out of there. Let's just get Grant out of there. Let's just try and add. So they wanted a. Hmm. It's hard now. Now it's hard. Again. Maybe we should try and get like Boland straight up for Ribeiro. It might just work. But I want to give Boland up so he's going to have to sweeten the deal a little bit for Ribeiro. Let's just do that. Let's just do that trade first. Screw this. Remove the players there. Let's go back to Ottawa. Let's just put Lalande out of there. Let's get that second rounder out of there. Let's get keep Dave Boland in there. And where is that Ribeiro there? And let's just add like a a third rounder that went through. So that's good. So we open up a little bit of salary cap as well. So let's just see here if we can get a defenseman. We need a defensive defenseman. So we got Jared Cohen in there. He's got some decent, decent trade value. So see our defenseman here. We got. Murphy is act Ugh, that's right it's that guy I always forget I always forget <sighs> where is he all skaters let's go to skaters matching the block so that's good uh, where is he Odoya Odoya get your ass in there and we're gonna put Lalonde in there. I'm gonna get that lousy guy with no trade value. Let's take Grant, I think. Or Eckford. Yeah, Tyler Eckford. Let's take Tyler Eckford. So they got Lalande and Odoya for Jared Cohen. Well, we need a, like a draft pick as well, so let's take that second rounder and try with that. It went through, so that's good. Now we've done that. We've traded away Odoya. We've traded away Boland. We are.